here kdd is the oldest of these three frameworks crisp dm and sema are more practical in terms of implementation in comparison to kdd process and if you want a lot of iteration which is very important in the space of data mining then crisp dm is more complete because it has a lot of you know that iterative flow and then it covers all areas of building a reliable machine learning system sema uh, it has sample stage it's important that you have a very good understanding about all aspects of business uh, to ensure that the data that you take the sample data has the maximum information or it can give you maximum information right and then uh, but off late there has been a drastic drop in the amount of data right and the computational power has exploded hence it doesn't really make sense i mean almost you know the the logic of sample is gone if you have population please work on population the concept of sampling has come into picture uh when the the real world data was so large that you could not store that or you could not process that okay of course while there are differences i feel that there are a lot of similarities right and in the in all of these three models okay now let's get into crisp dm one of the most popular uh, process model which has been tried and tested for years together and it has been giving exceptional results in all of the projects that we perform we to a great extent use this methodology right it it gives you a structure it gives you a logical flow okay and the first step of your crisp dm is business understanding right this is the first step so we'll understand about business understanding first let's do a deep dive into each of those six steps starting from business understanding within business understanding the first step is defining the business problem that is very important define your business problem this business understanding is going to kick start your project this is the initial phase which you cannot at any cost avoid this is the if you ask me single most important phase of the entire life cycle of projects and the main object here is to understand the business context what is the problem that we are trying to solve defining the business requirements and converting uh the business problem into your data mining problem so you'll have the business problem how do we convert this business problem into analytical problem right this is extremely extremely important and what are we expecting here we are going to set expectations on what is it that we are going to give you customer would come to you with a business problem what are you going to give to the customer so you are going to set the expectations if customer says hey i want 100% accuracy you would say 100% accuracy is not possible we might give you 98 or 95 or any way anywhere between 95 to 98 you define such expectations you also define the success criteria when can you claim that your project is a success okay this is from two perspectives one is from the customer perspective another is from your own solution development team perspective which includes your data scientists solution development team 
which also includes your data scientist, right? And the final deliverable of this business understanding uh, phase of crisp DM is to have detailed plan. Detailed plan with the, you know, timelines, uh, cost details, success criteria, right? Assumptions, if you have any assumptions. I'm assuming that the customer will give me complete data. I'm assuming that a customer has a cloud environment to which we will have access to. I'm assuming that customer has a server on which we have to perform data mining. All assumptions, constraints. Customer is in Africa, remotely connecting from India to Africa would mean a lot of internet glitches, constraint. What are the challenges? What are the caveats to proceed further is something that you record as part of this. Within this business understanding, within business understanding, you have four sub modules. The first thing is defining the business problem. In defining the business problem, you try to come up with business objectives of the problem that you're trying to solve. So the first step is come up with business objectives. Okay, that's the first step. And you have to build a formal definition of your problem. So get the business context of the problem to be solved. Assess the problem. Take help of domain experts. Take help of subject matter experts, but try to understand in very finer detail. And also, there might be multiple points that might come out of the discussions. You have to come up with the key points, key pain points, which you need to address. Or what areas are you trying to solve this problem? Are you solving this problem for entire organization or, or are you trying to solve this problem for only supply chain department? Too many employees are resigning. Okay, you're solving the problem only for HR department. Right, and then you don't stop here. Friends, you do not stop here. You also do a market research to understand what kind of solutions already exist. Okay, you do a market research to understand what solutions already exist. Okay, in those solutions which are already available, what is lacking? Okay, already you will have solutions. What is lacking in those solutions? And what needs to be improved? Take that. Do not reinvent the wheel. Majority of the problems are solved. If they are not solved problems, they would be part of research projects, okay? So do this. And then when you define the business objective, there should be clear deliverables. What deliverables would be coming out of your project? What will be the success criteria? Okay, so here, when you work on this, not just data scientists, not just chief data officers, but your business folks, domain experts, analysts, subject matter experts, everyone should be involved. 